In chemistry class, we saw what happened when we added heat to ice and water. But what does that have to do with real life? A lot, actually. Most of the Earth is covered in water, and you've heard of global warming. Water can absorb a ton of heat with only a small temperature rise due to its heat capacity. But there are consequences, like sea level rise. Hmm, I don't quite get the connection. The continental ice sheets on Earth formed millions of years ago when Earth was colder than it is now. Water evaporating from the oceans fell as snow on the land and built up over a long period of time. But over the last several decades, that land ice has been melting more rapidly because the Earth is getting warmer. So melting land ice raises sea level. What about ice that is already in the ocean? When sea ice melts, does it cause sea level rise? You can think of melting sea ice like melting an ice cube in a glass of water. So the water level in the glass doesn't, doesn't change um, because the ice cube is floating in the water. So we know the melting of land ice has added a lot of water back into the oceans over the past couple of decades. But when we look at overall sea level rise, measured by satellites and tide gauges, there's something missing, and that's thermal expansion. When water molecules heat up, they move faster and farther apart, so the water actually grows in volume. As temperatures increase around the globe, the oceans are going to expand in volume, which means that water levels are going to increase. And we can see that if we add more heat to the equation, in the future, sea level rise will continue to increase as more land ice melts and warming ocean water continues to expand. So what would that actually look like? Well, it would look like this. This isn't sea level rise, it's a king tide. An unusually high tide that occurs here naturally each winter, flooding low-lying areas. And scientists predict higher water levels like these will happen every day in the future with sea level rise. Okay, so more heat means more sea level rise. How can understanding a link between heat, temperature, and sea level help us prepare for its impacts? 